All right. So Alec Baldwin, they are saying that he is going to be charged uh, straight from the mouth of the dis- of the district attorney out there. Says that up to 18 months for involuntary manslaughter in uh Hannah Gutierrez Reed, the armor on the show, is also going to be charged. Yes. Uh, I saw, I mean, I didn't see this coming. I really didn't. Press S to didn't. spit. I am so happy about this news. I thought it was never going to no. happen because it, it's been so long. They, I think the sheriff only closed the investigation in October yeah. last year. It, that, that took almost a whole year just to close the investigation so that they could proceed to pressing charges so they gave a plea deal to the assistant director david halls uh for negligence with use of a, a, use of a deadly firearm. weapon yeah or yeah, yeah with a deadly weapon and now the armorer and alec baldwin could face not only just involuntary manslaughter charges but something even more severe which is involuntary manslaughter in the commission of a lawful act so Involuntary manslaughter requires proof that there was underlying negligence, but if it's in the commission of a lawful act, that requires proof that it was more than simple negligence. And if you include it, the firearm enhancement, because yeah. a firearm was involved, that would make the crime punishable by a mandatory five years in jail. Uh, okay, let's take a vote here. And in the chat, you can join in on this as well. Uh, is there any chance that he actually spends five years in prison? I, I seriously doubt it. I, or is he is I, he I going to put a hit out on the judge? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Look, my, my my favorite part was like they're talking about like he had prior altercations with Hutchins. Yes. Like he was arguing with her because she apparently was like directing stuff on set, which uh, a cinematographer isn't usually one to do. And I, I just <laughs> he says he's big baby Alec Baldwin. Here, he just doesn't know how to deal I, with his I problems. Can't, no, I don't buy that he. But you're implying that he went out and and nefariously got real live. I lo- I, it's funny and murdered the that woman. was already found though that's in i know that was found the official but findings to assume, found. i think that's a ridiculous assumption to, to think that alec baldwin purposefully orchestrated this this it's a movie knives th- out uh, Look, it's a, it's a <laughs> movie plot. investigators found it's, five live rounds of ammunition mingled among the movie's props and costumes wow a fourth bullet Live bullet was in a gun belt worn by Alec Baldwin. Yep. Okay. Okay. So it was in his gun belt. There okay. was one in the gun as well. He had motive and opportunity. Uh, what's the motive? Okay. It, even like in you. interviews after this already happened, Alec Baldwin recalled their interactions and he basically expressed frustration that Helena Hutchins was arguing with him, telling him what to do on set over and over again as a cinematographer. He said that cinematographers aren't supposed to direct like that. Okay, but not liking There's, someone is not, is not motive. There was dislike, tension between tension. the crew and the executives and the crew was thinking about walking out. Of the project, they could have replaced. Why couldn't they have replaced her? Like that's such that's a, a big reasonable stretch. question. But See, Alec Baldwin isn't a reasonable, reasonable person. I don't, I don't want to be reasonable. I don't like right this because I think this is going to be used. That this is why we need more gun legislation. This is oh why you know I'm serious. This is going to be used. No, look, look what happens on they movie sets. Already tried to pass two. Uh, two more uh, legislation, like legislative acts, as far as restricting gun use on sets in California. Both how about which, they just both of which fail? How about they just invest in training and well, tell people to like, hey, yeah, hey, hey, like, pay your, attention, do your, do no, your job. Kellen, I agree, yeah. but you're asking all the reasonable questions and bringing up the reasonable answers. We're not a reasonable podcast. <laughs> We're not a reasonable podcast. Hollywood is not a reasonable business, I, and Alec Baldwin is an insane sociopath. Like. Even How? if he accidentally did this, which is what he claims, but all or he act- even claims that he didn't pull the trigger, he said he still doesn't even feel bad. That was the part Any that bothered me. Any normal person, even if they actually would feel bad, even though it wasn't. I mean, purpose. he cried, didn't he? For himself. For himself. He, no, he said he said he doesn't feel bad in he his said, interview. He yeah. said in his was it uh, Dateline or or, uh, or sixty Minutes? In his interview, he said I don't feel bad about it. He also did maintains he that he also maintains that? that he didn't pull the trigger. The gun just went off. No, because Which, people believe that guns fire themselves. That's yes. why he said that. I mean, if it's, if, it's a, if it's a prop gun that they were tinkering with, there's, there's a chance of a misfire. Not a prop um, gun. It's not a Shot live ammunition. Prop gun. It's a real gun. 
Right, yeah. but they were so. Well, what's the difference between a prop gun and a real gun? I mean, there's there's all this variation. Can a prop gun can be a gun yeah. that just shoots blanks, which is still a real gun. The uh, it's the it's well, why was there live ammo on set? In That's the first a great place. question. How why don't you go and investigate? Like, there's got to be like plus he's a producer. Other so members at the, of at the crew. end of the day, the buck stops with him because he's the yeah. producer on the on the production. I suppose this this sets dumb precedent. And the armor. Also, this is what see, uh, everyone's talking about. This I remember this video that I saw the other day. If he if if he had just been trained by his dad when he was younger i saw this video Did you see too. This, this video the other day of the dad showing his uh, son how to how to uh, uh, rack his weapon eject uh, the uh, magazine and everything rack it dump it magazine drop it rack it that's cute dump it. That and I it. saw this video with a caption that was like drop see it. it's right wingers that dump are it. grooming kids yeah <laughs> As if it's comparable at all. Man, if I could swing that many rounds on target, but he's gonna no. dump. See if Alec had just taught, you know, been taught this, and look, he would be fine. Well, I was Alec just Baldwin, gonna say, where's the training? You Alec know? Baldwin has a public history of being a hot-headed person, an mm. impulsive, angry person. Yeah. We yeah. have voicemails that he sent his 12-year-old daughter calling her, calling names, her a yeah. pig, threatening to uh, literally listen, listen. hurt her. I'm not arguing like, that wait this until guy I see you. isn't a POS, yeah. right? Like, I'm not arguing that Alec Baldwin is a saint or anything, but to, to charge him with manslaughter, I mean, I don't think he's going to get, I don't think he's going to get uh, convicted. I think he'll either take a plea deal for no jail time or this is going to go to trial and it's going to be an insane here's, trial. Here's my other idea. But he's not going to get convicted. They here's, can't prove that he... But I have, there's no intent. Th there's, there's not. No Being intent. a dick is not intent. There's no intent, but the manslaughter doesn't require intent, I don't think. And then on top of that... Uh, it, Maybe. If, if he's pointing the gun at somebody, which is something you should never do, ever, like one of the first things you learn in any kind of gun safety course, any kind of training course with a gun, is you don't point a gun at something unless you're trying to kill or end that thing, whatever it is. I do love that. don't do that. And yeah, he but pointed it, the gun at and he... That logic ends when you're filming a movie where... You're you're no, she's to, not the shot, though. He, but she's, she's a well, cinematographer. That's a good point. Okay, here's... Here, the thing. You guys can talk about the law and all this stuff all you want. <laughs> I got a better idea. The, I got a pitch for him for his next movie. Okay. What he does is he makes a movie about an action star who gets convicted of a firearms offense and therefore cannot be around guns anymore, so he can no longer make movies with guns. And the whole movie has to be about him running away from guns because he can't <laughs> actually be around them. He can't actually possess one. See, that's what he needs that's to do. He genius. needs to, you know, if he doesn't go that's to jail, genius. he needs to use it to, to do, make something creative. He's I mean, a sociopath. People have It'll already memory hold this shooting so much that I'm even more suspicious of it. Yeah. Mm. Um, like, point. imagine the PR machine dedicated to reconstructing Alec Baldwin's reputation right now. Mm. Before, after, during this. I don't know if they're going to go to trial. That's yet to be seen, but... When they do a preliminary hearing, I think that's when the detailed documents of the investigation are going right. to come out. And that's how we'll find out, you know, how the live ammunition get on set. Yeah. In the first well, I mean, I, I think his argument is going to be I was talent. Even you said he was a producer, too. Yeah. Or someone said he's, he's producer he's the main producer on the So, project. yeah, like it happened on your watch. But the armorer is who's going to get the bulk of these charges yeah that i mean that was that literally be. her job she's right. not even uh working in the industry anymore she went to work for like a like a tattoo a tattoo dealer a tattoo par parlor she's wow. like a security guard for a tattoo parlor oh, it's a great. tattoo dealership also guys i can't um uh people keep at mentioning the names i'm gonna change the names oh. now, guys. I, I let it sit Come for long on. enough i'm sorry i'm sorry <laughs> i didn't even notice it's uh, <laughs> great I, that was intentional just so everyone knows it's not uh, it's not a reflection a reflection of ben or ben I brett as a producer <laughs> Sir, I asked him before the podcast to change him specifically because I thought it would be fun. <laughs> but I guess you guys don't like playing fun, fun Dude, games. Okay. Dude, you guys some, are anti-fun. There's some PTSD <laughs> there because my brother's name is Ben, so my whole life I've been called Ben. No way. Oh, I'm like, sorry. Literally my oh, whole man. life. It's like Ben, Ben, ben Brett. Like it takes like four and it try, tries oh, to get my name I'm correct. sorry. I'm sorry. There's no live guns or ammunition on the, on I, the set there right now. No, there, no, no, live, <laughs> no, no live ammunition, no, no actual weapons loaded. So the, it's, it's just really interesting. 
interesting because to me, I don't think this has been memory hold. I, I think uh, most people remember this. It's just that it's been so yeah. long that it's just not going to be in the news every day. I, I think he ends up maybe paying the fine. He'll end up mm. paying a fine and not serving any time. I, I don't see him actually getting convicted. Any probation? I do. I do love. Uh, I do think that the uh, the DA is like virtue signaling with the no one is above the law thing. Like I, I don't think right. that. I don't think he's actually going to spend any time. By well, when this first happened, the first articles I saw yeah. was like CGI is so good. Why don't we replace I all guns that. in movies? I hate that. And like, like the first person that comes to mind is Tarantino because he's so adamant about filming using real, real film. things like. Uh, mm -hmm. I forget what movie it was. What's the movie with the guy with, um, not Death Note, oh, Death Proof. Yeah. Death, Death, Proof. Death Proof. He yeah. went around looking for a very classic car. I forget what the exact car was. Went to the first few buyers that he found. He's like, I'm going to crash it. I'm using it in a movie. I want a real authentic car for a real authentic crash. Yeah. And eventually he just stopped telling people that because they wouldn't sell him the car. They're like, you're going to crash this beautiful car? No way. So he buys the car just for one scene. Five yeah, second shot scene. of a car plowing yeah. into another car. Real and so as soon as this Alec Baldwin story broke, you saw people coming out and saying, No more guns, no more guns in the movies, CGI no more blood, explosions. CGI blood in bullet in, in gunshots look horrible compared to squibs in actual mm -hmm. yeah, in blanks. True. The other thing is like The Rock was saying that all his movies after this happened were all going to use rubber guns. There are some rubber guns that look semi-realistic if you don't look too closely similar to way uh, I don't know if you know the like, what a hot like what a non-gun is it's a, it's a non-functioning version of a firearm that they use on set those can look okay from a distance but as soon as you look closely you can tell it's not real mm. which is why we use yeah. real money yes on set real here. money on set here also like I, I decided to pull up my favorite of the memes that came out after you know like the, <laughs> there, there were so many you uh, miss 100% of the shots, shots you don't take. take that is true um that the, I, this was more the Photoshop on it was just really really good. Yeah, like that's, that's, that's I want to see Alec Baldwin with waves and yeah. a fade and AirPods. Yeah. Uh, um, so anyway, I started so blasting. blasting. Yeah. Good one. Yeah. And yeah. then and then yeah. And then the other one was the one I stand behind Alec Baldwin because there's no way in hell I'm standing in front of him. Uh, oh, those were my man. personal favorites. Look, nice. it's the morbid nature of the good internet stuff. that this is the stuff that people were focusing on after. After that happened, but if we're going to be forced to, I, I mentioned yesterday, I was watching somebody on, on mentioned on Twitter, but there's this scene in the show Life that I've been rewatching where they use real tigers, and there's this tense standoff where a bunch of cops are face to face with a real live tiger, and you can't mimic that now. We were talking right. somebody in the chat mentioned fake bears because we're going to be talking about cocaine bears soon. You can't use real bears anymore for something, mm -hmm. especially for cocaine bear. Yeah. Like if, if we if we can't get the real animals in so much of what we do is CGI, the best thing we can do is take the things we can still use, which are firearms. Things like this, and just train people better. Well, yeah, I, have, I have a, a huge. Her problem. father worked on set. Her father, like Hannah Gutierrez Reed, her father's been an armor in Hollywood for decades. Talk yeah. about nepotism. Yeah, I was just going to say that's right. come up a lot. And recently. think about how many. Think about how many productions go on every day in Hollywood with no problems right. whatsoever. Well, I was. I was going to ask. I don't know if you guys know. Is there? Uh, I'm sure there's been other times that actors and people have died on set. Oh, but yeah. has the, there have been, yeah. been the, the crow. Has there been like gunshot? Yeah, the crow. Mm -hmm. Yep. Um, that was that the was big Bruce one. Lee's. Uh, that, yeah, it was uh, uh, Brandon Lee. Brandon um, Lee, that's correct. Michael Bruce Madsen was the one who who shot him, and he took. Here's the thing. You mentioned earlier. You said he didn't even feel bad after. Look, Michael Madsen after this happened on the set of the crow, he took a year off. He took a year off acting because he felt so horrible about what happened because that's how an actual human being with emotions. So what ha what happened there? Did they they do an investigation? Uh, it, was like a, it was like a blank. Of got blank. stuck in the yeah. Yeah, like blanks still shoot a cart uh, like a part of the. I don't know exactly what it's called because it's a blank. Thank you. <laughs> but they still uh, discharge and uh, there's it's also been the paper thing. wadding and it shot right, through and, and like and, it is. And, and hit him in the chest. Oh wow! Yeah. There's also yeah. been other instances where actors have said like jokingly trying to think because they didn't understand that a blank round still shoot something out of the actual end of the gun and they put it up to his head and like shot himself literally yeah. as, oh, as, wow. as a joke, quite the joke. But. There's there's also there's an episode of the show I Zombie. Where so, like it's it's they're on the in the show I Zombie there's a running joke of like a show like a show within a show called Zombie High that they make fun of for being unrealistic about zombies and there's a, a murder on the set of Zombie High where somebody gets shot with a prop gun and you find out that that prop gun was replaced 
Oh. Because like they, they even have the thing where the, the detective, uh, Babineau, he's like, he's like, he goes to the armor and he's talking to the armor. He's like, wow, this could be my weapon. They do all the same stuff. And mm-hmm. that was an actual storyline from the movie where they find out that the prop gun was just replaced with a real one that shot live ammunition because the guy who, who got... Uh, uh, who got killed was uh, negligent and w- wasn't a good person. So somebody on the set took him out. Wow. I'm not saying that that's where Alec Baldwin got his <laughs> idea from, oh but you know, it's possible. I, though I do love the idea of Alec Baldwin watching like CW shows at night in his trailer. I mean, whether or not this was intentional, I think it's evident that Alec Baldwin is a sociopath or a narcissist anyway Mm -hmm. just based on him saying that he had no remorse over the situation whatsoever whether it's a mistake or not that should at least bother you (laughs) like in in your conscience but i don't i don't think he has one i think he's shown what kind of person he is behind closed doors in multiple situations if you go and look up the voicemails that were leaked the ones he sent to um, I believe his ex-wife and the ones he sent to his daughter, they're absolutely shocking. Like, he definitely is a hothead at the very least. I was wrong. It was Michael Massey, not Michael Madsen. That was mm-hmm. that. You guys are right in the chat. Oh, that okay. Was right. My, and it's crazy, too, because Michael Massey is, like, one of those guys who's got, like, he he's, like, a legit-looking dude. Like, he, he could play a villain. He played a villain his whole career. So it's kind of crazy. You look at this dude, Alec Baldwin just kind of looks like a normal dude. Michael Massey, when he's on screen, looks like an evil dude and felt guilty for years. Hmm. So yes, chat, you are right. I had that one wrong. Mm-hmm. I, uh, Mia culpa, ladies and jail. gentlemen. I still think to, jail. Straight to jail. Straight to jail. Straight jail. to jail. Also jail. Send like, people to jail because I don't like them. Yes, jail. Just like Andrew Tate, jail. <laughs> no evidence, jail. Look, yeah, hey, jail. hey, 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 hey. Free top G, we say here. Yeah, I, I think free Cobra. I don't know. I, until I see real hard evidence about what, whatever he's accused of, until it's like actually proven, not just hearsay from text messages again, it's always free Cobra. But it's not free Alec Baldwin. I think Alec Baldwin should go to jail just because I don't like him. Okay, guys? Hot take. Uh, yes, you're fair. <laughs> there's a there's a hilarious line. I was I was uh, I talked to somebody else about this. Like I've I've kept true to my word that I talk about a lot of like old shows that nobody remembers but me. There's a show called Las Vegas that was on NBC back in like the mid 2000s. That's an amazing name, uh, isn't it? Las Vegas, isn't it? Las Vegas. Las Vegas? Yeah. <laughs> and uh, James Caan, um, incredible show. And he's in the show. He's got a friend who used to work for the CIA, played by Alec Baldwin, and he has this interaction with Marsha Thomason's character where he says, uh, she goes, you want to know something about, uh, something crazy about men and women? She goes, what? He goes, men and women are different. And she's like, oh my God, that's like, that's so funny. Like nowadays you actually say that and he'd actually get in trouble for saying men and women are different. Mm-hmm. Things have changed. I think that Alec Baldwin should go to jail for his Donald Trump impression. Yes. Yeah, so. oh. And also he'll be inmates so with bad. Gigi Hadid for her oh. Melania impression. <laughs> that was equally terrible. See, there could be a great Maybe show there. cringe of the day. That is One a good show. I actually thought I'll the impression that. was pretty good. That could Alec be- Baldwin's or Gigi Hadid? Oh no, not Gigi's. Alec Baldwin. I yeah. mean, dude, he was doing it for what? Three? years two years on snl so it had to be half decent a lot of else could have done it i guess a lot of people um, the least bad option J- uh, J- was it jamie fox that did the trump impression <laughs> that was good there's plenty that of them who can really do the impressive. voice there's plenty of them who can do the voice really really well have you ever heard the one where it's like him it's donald trump doing uh giving directions to get somewhere no I oh yeah, yeah I, I, I'll, pu- I'll pull it up later man. i like it's, the it's, video of trump that just dropped where he's listening to taylor swift in the car <laughs> he's oh, just yeah. I do too. He's and then cruising there's, yeah there's melania and uh Baron. I think Baron is in the car too. That was hilarious. Also, if you don't follow um, uh, the guy who makes all the Trump music, where he he literally cuts up thousands of hours of mm-hmm. Trump talking into songs, uh, he's got a, a blinding. He's doing the Lord's work. He's got truly. a blinding lights one that's absolutely incredible and he's got one where it's like you know like a lo-fi beats where it's like the the kid like lo-fi doing beats. homework it's like that but it's donald trump doing homework <laughs> like oh, it's, it, I love that. thanks for watching listen to full episodes of pop culture crisis on spotify keep up with us on social media and make sure you subscribe and ring that bell so you never miss the show bye guys